What is up guys? Welcome back into another episode of Flipping from Zero, where in episode one, we started with no money. We found some items from around our house, flipped it into some capital, took that capital to the thrift stores, the bin stores, and have built up a ton of inventory without starting with any money. And we've also added a bunch of money into the bank. I will put that up in the top corner in this entire video. But the goal is not to stack cash in this series, it's to stack inventory. And in a couple minutes, I will show you all the inventory we have gathered up. But before that, I'm going to head off to a liquidation bin store. So that's where we're going to start. It's $1 a day, so we're going to see what we can find. So if you're new to this series, this is basically where we're getting most of our inventory at these liquidation bin stores where they take a bunch of like Amazon and Target pallets overstock and just dump them in these bins and everything's a dollar. I hit a couple different places and every time I'll show you what I get and then I will show you the receipt on how much I paid. You can see we had a pretty decent haul at this one today and we only spent $24. All right, we are back at the warehouse and I'm going to show you everything that's sold before I show you everything we've gathered up. No, unfortunately, this is not flipping from zero sales. This is just my normal business. Over two grand going out but not a bad little day from flipping from zero. We sold our first pair of these Converse's that we picked up probably five or six episodes ago. Um, those were 50% off the tag, so $18. Sold those for 65 bucks. The rest of these were all from various bin stores, anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar, depending on what day it was. Sold this for 15. I forget what I sold this for, but I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and then this one sold for 10. So now what we do in this series is I pack all this up and I tell you guys all the profits and we add that to the pot. So the first three were all under one pound. I like to source under one pound things from the bins because they're easy to ship and they're not going to cost more than like $6.50. Most of those are $5 and under because they're under 12 ounces. The only thing over a pound were these shoes, which I chose priority because it was like 50 cents more, but I get to use a free box. So unless I can save a dollar or more with ground advantage, then I'll use priority there. Getting into the profits, though, we got $5 on the banner, $8 on the Cricut Press, $9 on the filter, and add $50 to the pot for the Converse's. Showing you guys everything we've accumulated for this series so far. I've gotten most of it now in this area. However, back here by the garage door, we have one pair of jeans left. And then over here, we still have two pairs of these Converse's left that we just sold a pair of. So other than that, everything is in this area. And it kind of looks messy, but I promise you it's controlled chaos. Everything is sorted. So this is stuff I've still got to put away in these black bags. These were all bought with flipping for zero money. All of these tubs, though, are sorted. Um, when I redo my warehouse, I'm going to find a better system for this. That might be in an episode or two. But you can see we have accumulated a lot of stuff from nothing. These boots were all picked up last episode as well. Most of the rest of this stuff, though, is all bin stuff. And then down here, we have Celtics hats. These things are selling like crazy, as you will see today. Oh, and then one last thing I always forget to mention are the iPad boxes. And I have another uh, money maker bag full of those at home as well. And those were free. Also, if you haven't watched this series before, it's important to note that when I'm talking about the profit of these items and adding it to the pot, I'm not taking cost of goods sold out. That's because I already took out cost of goods sold when I bought it. So we're just taking out fees and shipping. And we also just round to the whole number on all this stuff because I'm not trying to round all the pennies. All right, going out today, we got two more dollar bin items. We got this cabin filter. Always look for these filters when you can pick them up. Any type of filter or anything like that, they always sell really well. Got 20 bucks for that. And then I couldn't find any comps on this, but at a dollar, I decided to pick it up. It's like a hot air balloon, Texas Longhorns thing. Anytime I can find a unique item like that, I always pick it up and I sold it for 20 bucks. Plus 12 on the air balloon and plus 13 on the filter. All right, here's everything going out today from Flipping From Zero. We finally sold a Celtics hat on eBay for $26. So not going to be as high margins as Amazon, but again, we don't have to worry about returns or anything. So that was more of a volume play. Then we've got a, a ring doorbell bracket that sold for $16. We sold this for $12. And then we sold another iPad box for $12. Plus $9 on the bracket, $5 on the stand, $17 on the hat, and $5 on the iPad box. As I'm finishing packaging up, I just sold another Celtics hat for $30 on Amazon, so I had another $21 to the pot. Today, in flipping from zero, we have one Boston Celtics hat going out on Amazon for $30, plus $21 to the pot. As I'm about to leave, I just sold this guy for uh, $14.99. Again, that was from the bin place, so we'll get that packed up. So I add $8 to the pot. All right, before we show you everything that's sold today, we just picked these up in the Kohl's clearance event, so... 
half off of 4750, half off of 25. We're going to add these to our stack over there for this series. So take out $52 from the pot. All right, here's everything going out. First off from the bins, we got this sealed CD that sold for $10. Got another uh, phone stand that sold for 12 bucks. Another iPad box that sold for 12 bucks. Also at home, I left this filter that I just listed from the bins. Got $40 for that. Plus $5 on the CD, $6 on the iPad box, $6 on the phone stand. And when I do pack the filter, plus $30, I've already printed the label. All right, here's everything going out today. We got a $10 antenna. Picked that up the other day, 50 cents or a dollar. This was from that one $1 bin place for this costume. Didn't think it was going to sell till next Halloween, but hey, it did, $17. And then someone bought five iPad boxes, $60. Also, another thing I forgot at home, I just listed this the other day for $18, and I just didn't bring it out here today, so we'll have to add that in later. Plus $4 on the antenna, $9 on the costume, and $45 on the iPad boxes. Back home and plus $10 on that MacBook case, it was just under a pound. Back at the bin store here on Dollar Day, we found some cases and some other stuff. As you can see, some Steam Deck cases, those sell really well. Got some Naruto costumes, those should do all right. Some foot mats, not a bad day, and spent $20. All right, just got back from those two good bins hauls, and I listed some more cold stuff. So take out $55. We're going to add in these for this series. These are just from the normal business. If you're wondering why I'm doing boots, um, I would do all of their shoes, but it's going to be really hard to like separate the flipping from zero stuff from the other stuff. So I'm kind of just doing boots so that I have all my boots in this one area, except for these random. I guess that's boots. I don't know. I don't really have a rhyme or reason to it, but I'm trying to keep it sorted as best as I can so I know what's from this series and what's not. So we're going to add those two boots over there. Can't make this up, guys. Literally like 10 minutes later, these just sold. I just listed them yesterday absolutely crazy but you can see we paid half of that and sold them for 115 dollars on top of the boots we also sold another cricket mat for 15 dollars. that was from the dollar place all these were from the bin place as well also sold this boardwalk flag on mercari for 16 and then anytime you can find any type of an adapter for a laptop definitely pick it up this is for a surface pro sold it for 34 dollars. i saw a lot of macbook ones as well a lot of these don't come with these ports anymore on the side so you have to buy this adapter so these things sell all day long so plus 26 dollars on the adapter 10 bucks on the flag nine dollars on the cricket press and $89 on the boots would have been more, but they were going to California. Pretty solid day from flipping from zero. We got a couple bins items and then another Celtics hat. First off, we've got the Surface Pro case here that sold for $18. Just picked this filter up at that last bin store, if you saw. Um, sold that for $30. And then we got another Among Us flag that sold for $13. On top of another Celtics hat on eBay for $26. Bucks. Plus $8 on the flag, $19 on the hat. $20 on the filter, and $10 on the case. All right, today we've got three of these Joel Embiid uh, Nike shirts in. Got these from Dick's Sporting Goods when they were running their recent online clearance event. They were $4.74 each, so we're going to buy the three of these for this series. So take out $15 from the pot for that. Absolutely crazy weekend from flipping from zero. Look at this. First off, we sold this from the bins. Sealed Miami Vice, $33. We sold two more of these easy presses for $14.99 each. I think we got $13 for this. Another Among Us flag. That's just become a bread and butter, and we still have a whole stack of these. Those were on dollar day. Selling those for $13 each. Then all of this is on this account, so I'm going to show you on the computer. First off, we have this filter that sold for $13. We got this foot mat here that sold for $19.99. Again, anytime you can find any type of filter or anything, definitely look it up. And usually it's going to be good, especially when it's a dollar or less, $16 on that under one pound. All this stuff for the most part is under a pound. That's what I really love about it. Next, we got another Celtics hat here, $26 on that. And then lastly, we got an iPad box, $11.99 on that. This just goes to show how building up your inventory can really start to create consistent sales. Keep on stacking that inventory and the consistent sales will come. Plus $7 on the HDMI cord, $7 on the flag, $22 on the box set, $18 on the two cricket mats, $5 on the iPad box, $9 on that big filter, $12 on the foot massager, $19 on the Celtics hat, and $7 on that small refrigerator filter. Very solid flipping from zero weekend.
So I can't really show all of this one by one because obviously, well, there's a screaming kid in the back, but other than that, there is literally so much stuff I can't show one by one. So you guys will see when this sells, but I will show the receipt at the end. All that for only $104. Going out today, we've got another Steam Deck case, $14. And then we've got two Boston Celtics hats here, $29.99. One of them, they paid for expedited shipping. So second day here, which they ended up paying $30 in shipping. So they paid $30 plus $30. So they paid $60 for this hat, which it probably won't cost that much to ship. Plus $7 on the Steam Deck case, $21 on the one Celtics hat. And then the Express one was only a state over, so it only costs like 7 bucks to ship. I put those express times up a ton on Amazon. So if they do want it, they have to pay up and I usually make a nice profit on that. So I add $48 to the pot for that one. As I was about to leave, I just sold this Naruto robe for $19. Add $9 to the pot. All right, next big buy for this series are going to be all of these soccer cleats that all rang up $10 at Academy. I filmed an entire video on that, but it was like a hidden clearance event where all these said like 60, 50 bucks, different things like that, and they were ringing up $10. Got a couple more pairs over here. I'm currently listing everything, but we've got 29 pairs in total that we're buying for this series, only the soccer ones. We're leaving the football ones and everything else. Hopefully you guys have watched that video. If not, check it out. That clearance event was insane. But anyways, adding in tax, we uh, will take out $290 from the pot for all these soccer cleats. And let's see how they sell this season. What a day for flipping from zero. First off, we just sold our first pair of cleats and we just listed all of these yesterday. $60 on these. And again, those were $10 from Academy. All this stuff was from the bins. So anywhere between 50 cents and a dollar, depending on when I picked it up. Sold these for like 17 or 18. Sold this keyboard for, I believe, 25 19 on the Naruto costume, 20 on this foot mat, and then we got these uh, Gillette refills that sold for like 10 bucks. And then we sold three more Boston Celtics hats on Amazon, $30 a piece. Plus $5 on the razors, $50 on the cleats, $7 on the Avery name tags, $13 on the foot massager, $8 on the robe, $17 on the keyboard, and $63 on the hats. So that'll do it for all the flipping in this episode. Absolutely crazy how much inventory we've stacked up and the pot went up about $200. I could just keep stacking this money up in the pot and get it as high as I could. I think I even said in last episode, I wanted to get it up to like five or $10,000. I kind of lost sight of what this series is about and that is stacking inventory, which is exactly what we did in this episode. And we still saw our bank go up. I've said to a bunch of people in the past, like I would rather have $100,000 in inventory than $100,000 in the bank. That inventory is appreciating over time, whereas cash depreciates. And I love to view my inventory as investments. And if you start viewing your inventory as investments, I think it'll change your mindset on not having to try to sell everything so fast. Now though, we need to get into our giveaways like we do in every Flipping From Zero video where we give away a millennial profit bag as well as $10. So congrats to Greg on winning the $10 and show Sean on the MP bag. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram, guys, and I will get you guys your prizes. If you wanna be entered to win one of these in the next Flipping From Zero video, all you have to do is comment something down below. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Again, it has been so much fun to make and just see how far we've come, and I think it's been like 11 months now. And next month, we have a big one coming. I promise you, this series has taken off. There's money to be made ever, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit.